What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over the patch notes of the 1.07 patch that came out this morning. And the first thing is they added the new maps, Kravnik Farmland to Ground War and the Shoot House multiplayer map. They're not live yet. Shoot House is available in private matches, you can go check it out. I got some gameplay here on it. And it reminds me of almost like firing range, kind of meets a kill house. But it's super small, there's not very much vertical play, there's, you know, you hop over walls and stuff like that, but it's all close quarters. There's one or two long range head glitches, not too bad, but I feel like those are going to be abused a lot. But it, it's a good map, it's going to be a lot of fun, especially in like quick modes like hard point, domination, things like that. Um, and they're going to have shoot house 24-7 which is going to be awesome. It's got Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Headquarters on it. So that could that could be a really big change from everything else we have in this game. I'm ready to play some Hardpoint though. Can't wait for that. None of those things are live yet, but you can go into Private Match and play on Shoot House. They have a couple of different things here. Um, they talk about the Claymores, how they the dead Detonating an enemy claymore with bullets is now non-lethal when at full health. So that probably means that it, it can still, it's going to hurt you, just not kill you. So, I mean, they're still going to know where you're at. They're still loud. They're going to know that you're hurt. And they've also reduced the trigger and damage radius and reduced the damage width to better match the trigger width. So I'm assuming that it matches the cone better now instead of, you know, dying from when you're behind it, which was ridiculous. They've also removed battle chatter entirely from the game it still happens for you, you and your team you can hear it but the enemy can no longer hear your call outs or anything like that and they they've talked about how they restricted it more to when it'll happen and when it won't happen another big thing is they increase the recoil while mounting i've got some footage of this at the end and you, it's definitely definitely a lot more than slightly it now it just about cuts your recoil in half I have three guns. I use the uh, MP5, the M4, and the SCAR with no attachments on them. And when mounting, it just cuts the recoil in half. But before that, it used to just be a straight laser. You could just beam people from super far away. And I thought that was okay. I thought when you're, you know, you're mounting your weapon like that, you shouldn't have this kind of recoil. It just, it feels awkward now. Mounting, they, they nerfed it quite, quite heavily. The changes to the perks, EOD now clamps the damage to non-lethal amount if you're at full health. So if you're not at full health, it'll probably still kill you. But now if you're at full health, EOD will, you will not die from one lethal equipment. We talk about the lighting, how they continue to update dark windows and dark areas. You know, that's pretty good, they, they need to do that. Because when you're looking in from far away into like a dark room or something, it, you, they may as well just be invisible. The footsteps, they have increased the percentage to filter the footstep sounds behind the geometry and adjusted the footstep volume at a distance. So that's another big change that they've done. They've got another big change coming in the next update which will make crouch and aim down sight movement significantly quieter. So that, that could be good. They're talking about the challenges in the progression rank. Daily challenges and active missions are getting a full sweep of testing and fixes. We'll also have more updates to these systems in the future. But as of right now, they fixed a bug where the infiltrator challenge will not be tracking properly. Fixed for launchers, not giving XP when shooting down kill streaks. That's a big one. I know a lot of people were wanting that one, so they can get those camos. Going for Damascus camo. They fixed a bug where planning or defusing five bombs in cyber attack or search and destroy was not tracking. Camo challenge. This is a big one also. A lot of people wanted this. Camo challenge for kills after a reload. Didn't give the player enough time to acquire a kill, so the time has been increased, which is really great. They also fixed the bug where the XP requirement to reach the next rank was higher than the value needed. Those are some good changes, especially the kill after reload challenges. Those were definitely needed. But now we're going to get into the weapons. I've done two ma two matches on the new map shoot house, and I used the M4 and the 725 shotgun. So these these supposed nerfs to both of these weapons, the 725 shotgun got an increase to ADS speed and hip spread, and reduced damage range. So that that sounds like it should have been a, a decent nerf, but 
sadly it was not it is still really really great it has good range we've seen the gameplay that it, it it still does one hit people it in my honest opinion it's just a little less consistent now it does sometimes take two shots instead of one but it still can be crazy when you're aiming down sights and has super range so maybe they need to do a little bit more to it i don't know but the m4a1 got reduced damage range and small recoil increase you can definitely see the increase in recoil but the damage range i'm not so sure about i mean in, in this gameplay it's super close quarters so i'm not sure but to me it feels like it, it you'll see in the gameplay that i did get some kills with a bunch of recoil reducing attachments and then i took everything off and just used the m4 with no attachments and i still done really good with it so i still believe that it's really good i do believe that this you know may change it in the long run where like those super long range kills may be harder to get but I, I don't believe they should just completely nerf the M4 to the ground because that that's you know it's the M4 it's been in every Call of Duty it's it's a really good weapon but I feel like it's it's in an okay place right now overall the assault rifles got increased hip spread to reduce effectiveness up close and less damage at long range for full auto 556 rifles the SMGs got a big buff they increase move speed, increased ADS speed, and small reduction in sprint out time, which is really good. The Uzi, these are these are now getting to the weapon specifics, not just the assault rifles or SMGs. The Uzi got increased damage range. The MG34 got increased hip spread, damage range reduction, and small ADS slowdown. So it got nerfed quite a bit. The M91 LMG got increased hip spread, small damage range reduction. You got all the LMGs look like got hit pretty good. The PKM also got increased hip speed and a medium damage range reduction. Pistols got buffed. They got increased move speed, reduced sprint out time, and increased damage range. So those pistols should be... If you didn't thought they were bad before, try them now. They could be a lot better. And a crouch and prone, no longer adjust recoil. So that sounds terrible they should literally make it where crouching takes 25 percent recoil down and proning takes off 50 percent in my opinion but if, it, if they no longer adjust any kind of recoil like they just completely remove that I, I feel like that's bad if they're going for realism that's not real at all but I, I just in every other call of duty they've always adjusted recoil like that so if, i don't really know what this means I actually didn't catch that the first time I read it. Well, they talk about the Call of Duty League. They updated the rule sets for competitive modes and private matches. Uh, in CyberTech, they fixed a bug where a player could use their primary weapon and would be unable to see their view model after being revived by a teammate. I'm sorry, could lose their primary weapon. So they'd, you'd just be, after being revived, you just wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, in Ground War, and they, we'll talk about that later, but Ground War is is screwed right now. They uh, fixed a bug where players could sometimes be unable to pick a spawn location and they also fixed another bug where the attack insert could cause players to spawn on the enemy home base. So those are two good fixes. And now they have a bunch of fixes for Spec Ops. Uh, I personally haven't played Spec Ops yet so I'm not gonna go that much in detail on it. I did link the patch notes in the description below. You can check those out. So a lot, a lot of different things going on here, and just, in my opinion, they, they could have used a lot more. I think they could have looked into the challenges this time, because I personally am, you know, I'm, I should have platinum camo on my sniper rifles, but I don't, because my Dragonoff, I still need 450 kills, the very last one, but I have over 550 kills with it, so I should have it, but it just didn't unlock, which is very upsetting, but... I know they're going to fix it soon, but everything is, I know they're working on things, but while they're fixing things, they're breaking things. If you'll, the very last clip here is of Ground War, and they have completely broken it. I cannot get into a game. You will sit in the lobby, and it will say waiting, loading level for the entire time. I cannot do anything. I can't join a match with Ground War. I can't get into a match with Ground War. And Ground War was really all I played. 
so I, I couldn't I can't do anything right now I don't I don't know what's happening maybe it has something to do with the new map maybe once the maps go live it'll be fixed but they they definitely need to release a fix for this quickly because this is just awful this is all I played and I really hope that they fix this soon but that's everything that's all the patch notes guys hope you enjoy the gameplays on the new map shoot house and I can't wait to play it with you guys uh, hope you like the video please like subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one have a good day